Hey guys, what's going on? This is always back with another video of Java Essential Training Series. So this video is going to be about encapsulation. So in object-oriented program language, you will often hear the term encapsulation. Encapsulation ensures data integrity and reusability. Encapsulation is one of the benefits of using object-oriented programming language. It allows the programmer to hide the definition of instance data and method from the user. This ensures that the data structures and operators are used as intended. Encapsulation can be described as protective barrier that prevents the code and data from being randomly accessed by other code. So I have a, this project here. I've got two classes, my class and the main class, right? So in my class, I've got the int id, string name, int age, and string by right now this data is accessed uh, is available to the whole application right it's not hidden we're not using encapsulation here so i want to show you how you can uh, apply encapsulation and this is basically get and set method so if you go to refractor in uh, intellij idea so we have an encapsulation field here what it does is basically apply the encapsulation for us so right now it's grayed out. What you have to do is select an ID or select any variable name and then go to refactor. Now you can see that field, right? So I'm gonna go and click on it. All right, so I've got uh, all the variables available in this class. I've got ID, I've got string name, um, age, int, and bio string, right? So I'm gonna select all of them, okay? To apply the encapsulation here, encapsulation tab, you can check mark, get access, set access, right? And make them private let's refactor it and now as you can see that we've got all the ids keyword here are private all right and now down here we got the the encapsulation has been applied so we have public int get id and return is id so that's called uh, getters and setters and in other words you can call it encapsulation all right so my class dot java has been encapsulated we got a get ID and set ID method. So these are getters and setters. So to get the ID from this class, you need to use get ID method to set the ID, set the value to this variable. You need to use the set ID method. So let me show you the get ID method first. So let's create an object here. So I'm going to uh, type my class. Okay. And then I'm going to type my name as an object name is equal to new, which is a keyword and then my class again and in parentheses i'm not going to pass any arguments because it's a simple program press enter and down here i need to print out the data from that class now so i'll be using that object which is away so let's type uh, system out okay and then in the system out i'll type the object name okay dot and now when i press dot intellij idea give me some suggestions here so instead of just ID variable, I have get ID method now and set ID method now, right? So use that get ID. Now to print out on the same line, use your uh, concatenation, which is a plus operator. Then use the object name again, dot get name, right? And then concatenation always, right? And then dot get age, right? And then I'm going to press enter and I'm going to concatenate down the line here always dot bio all right so let's run this program all right as you can see that I've got that 11 OS which is my name and 28 age and then I'm a programmer right so let's go back here so we got the same data here so, all right, so let me show you how to set the values to those variables, okay? So here, to set the values now, I'm going to say always dot set id now. I'm going to set id, okay? And here I'm going to type, let's say, 10, right? And then come down here, always dot set name. I'm going to change the name to let's say John okay always dot set age let's make John 20 years old always dot set 
bio. Uh, I would say he is an object. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Okay, so we have set the values to those variables now. Let's print out. So I'm going to say always dot get id concatenation always dot get name right concatenation and always dot get age sorry get age not set age so where is it get age yep that's uh, fine here plus sign and then always dot get bio where is get bio okay get bio all right now let's go and run the program let's run it and let's see what are the results we get so 10 john 20 he's an object right but in the main class we still got the same uh data for those variables but here we can set the values for those variables all right so that's really cool okay so that was the encapsulation and set it together in simple words so you can set data and get data all right so thanks for watching guys and if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends uh if anyone interested to learn in java and thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you guys in the next video cheers